So about two hours ago, Nintendo released their Super Mario Bros. 35th Anniversary Direct. Just shadow dropped this out of nowhere, no announcement or anything that I saw. And this is really exciting because this is something that a lot of people have been wanting. So I'm just going to sit down and watch through it and just kind of react to everything, give my own like two cents about everything. Not like a live reaction, as you can see there's gameplay going on right now. But I'm going to watch through on my own anything important that comes up that I want to mention. I'll flash a picture of it on the screen, talk a little bit about it. Yeah, just kind of talk about what I'm excited for, what I'm going to be doing on this channel that pertains to anything that comes out, and uh, what this, I guess also what this could mean for the future. Because if I recall correctly, yeah, the 30th anniversary for The Legend of Zelda was in 2016 which means next year is the 35th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. So maybe they could be doing something similar like they did with the Super Mario Bros. And they could release some sort of, um, I guess it's not even a remaster, but I guess re-release some games from the old Legend of Zeldas. But we'll, we'll talk about that later. So I'm just gonna jump into this and kind of talk about what I'm seeing and what I'm excited for and what this could mean for this channel. So first things first, there's the Game & Watch system that has Super Mario Bros. I think that's really cool. It's cool for collectors and people like that. Not really something I'm interested in just because it's its own separate, I guess, console. And it's not, if it was something for the Switch, maybe I'd consider it. But since it's like its own thing and you have to buy a separate, I'm, I'm not going to not gonna get this. Although it is really cool and I do appreciate that they would think about making something like this. Second, they show off that Super Mario 3D World is coming to the Nintendo Switch, which is really exciting. As someone that never owned a Wii U, this is a game that I never got the opportunity to play. And it looks like they're also bundling it with Bowser's Fury, which looks really cool. Not sure if this was something that was included in the original game. Maybe it was a DLC or something. I don't know. Like I said, I never owned a Wii U, so I never got to play it. But I think it's really cool that they're already bringing this game up to the Nintendo Switch. We've already seen a little bit of it in Super Mario Maker 2. And I think that it's a lot of fun having the 3D world engine in that game. Or like the 3D world game type, I guess. But yeah, I'm really excited to pick this one up. Only thing is, it's coming out in uh, February 12th, 2021. So it's pretty far away, but I'm excited to get it when it does come out. After 3D World, they show off the competitive version of Super Mario Bros, which looks like a ton of fun. I think it's you and 35 other people, or no, you and 34 other people, I guess, since it's 35 total, are playing in kind of like a battle royale, kind of, I guess. That's the best way to put it, because that's, it's, you know, it's competitive and you eliminate people, so I guess it's a battle royale. But there's tons of you playing through uh, the original Super Mario Bros. And any enemy you kill gets sent to random people, and any enemy they kill also gets sent around, so you could receive some extra enemies. Looks really fun. There's some extra, like, power-ups, and it looks like maybe game, different game types or something, with, like, random lowest time, attacker, and something else. I don't know. It, it looks like a lot of fun. This comes out 1st of October, and I'm really excited to pick that up. I don't know... Not sure if it's something you'd have to purchase or if it's going to be just like a free game that people can play from October until March. But either way, if it's if it's a pretty cheap game, I mean, even if it's like 20 bucks, I'd still be interested in picking this up and playing it because it looks like a lot of fun. And it looks like something that would be really fun to get good at and like consistently win. It just adds a lot of variety to the original Mario game, which is something that if you don't speedrun it, or don't really look, like if you're just the casual player of it there's no reason to go back and play it more than a few times so this will be a really good addition i guess its own separate thing for the original super mario bros game really excited for that to come out i also wonder if since it's only available for a limited time if that means that you can only pick it up between that time and if the game just like goes offline after that it makes me wonder if the game is only available from October to March 31st and it's online and you just download it and start playing for free and then after October 31st it just it shut off and you can't play it anymore or if it's available between October and March 31st to buy and any time like once you buy it you can play it forever and the game never gets shut down I originally thought that it was the first option where it's free between March and October and then it's just offline but I think it actually might be 
you can purchase it and then play it for forever. I'm interested to see how that is. And then they reveal this Mario Kart VR or AR, I guess. Mario Kart AR where you kind of make your own racetrack around your room. I think it's really interesting, but they didn't give any details about price or anything like that. I think if it's not too expensive, this would be really fun to pick up and just a cool thing to make around the house. It's kind of gimmicky. It doesn't look like you can go very fast or that. It doesn't have that Mario Kart style to it where you can drift around corners and do all these weird different things to make you go faster. You can only go as fast as the little toy car goes, but I do think it is a really cool idea and it's it might be worth looking into if it's not too expensive. If one of those little car things is like 20 bucks and you only need one of those to play, if it comes with the goals or whatever, or the checkpoints, then I, I, I might consider picking that up. I think it'd be a lot of fun to just mess around with that for a little bit. After showing off that Mario Kart thing, they go through a bunch of different little things that they're doing. They've got clothing store stuff in the New York store. They've got keychains and stuff like that. They announce a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate uh, Nintendo versus Challenge Cup is what they call it, where you can only pick Nintendo characters and there's only, or not Nintendo characters, they're pretty much all Nintendo characters. You can only pick Mario characters and they only play on Mario stages and only like items from Mario games. This sounds like a lot of fun. I think I will play in this because my main in Smash actually is Piranha Plant, so I will be able to use that. And I, I, although that means you'd be playing against a lot of Marios and Luigis, so that. I don't know, those are pretty annoying characters to go against, but I I'm willing to try this out. Maybe do a video for it. I'm not very good at Smash Bros, but it might be interesting. Then they announced that they're bringing Super Mario All-Stars to the Nintendo Switch Online service. The, the games that you can play for free, the retro games. It's got the original Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 2, Super Mario Bros 3, and the Lost Levels. This seems like a lot of fun. I'll probably pick this up and play it on my own time. I mean, you don't even, there's nothing to pick up. You get it for free if you have Nintendo Switch Online. Yeah, I think I'll probably play this on my own time. I'm not really a huge fan of the updated graphics, but I mean, that can easily be looked past and get used to that after a little bit of play. And then they finish off with the big one. They finally give us Super Mario 64, and then they give us Super Mario Sunshine, and then they give us Super Mario Galaxy which is huge. This is exactly what I was talking about with The Legend of Zelda. Next year, if they do the same thing for the 35th anniversary of Legend of Zelda, they could give us like Ocarina of Time, and then they could give us like, honestly, my, I, I don't know. There's a lot of good Zelda games to pick from the past. If I could pick any three, maybe they do more than three, but if I could pick any three, just going off of what they are doing with Mario, I'm sure it would be similar. I would pick Ocarina of Time, and then Wind Waker, and then Twilight Princess. If I could get those three games not even remade, just like straight ports like they did here, that would be awesome. Because if they remade them, there's the chances that they change mechanics, and I don't know, I'm guessing they probably patch some glitches in these games that are going to be brought over to the Switch. So I don't think these have the same potential for like speedrunning as the original games do. But it is nice to see that there's not like a, a whole lot changed like what, you know, like Call of Duty remastering Call of Duty Modern Warfare and it's just like they add a bunch of dumb mechanics that nobody wants. These are just like straight up ports with slightly better graphics. Like Super Mario 64 still looks like Super Mario 64. It doesn't look like Super Mario 64 made in Super HD, which is really cool. They made the game look good, but they didn't get rid of the polygon look and the bad textures. They it still has that real classic authentic look, which I really like. So I have I have a lot of hopes for these games and I'm actually really excited to play through these games. One thing is I've actually never played through Mario Galaxy because I never owned a Wii back in the day. I have one now, but back when this game originally came out, I never had a Wii. So I'm excited to actually play through Mario Galaxy. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I just don't know how interesting it would be to play through these games on my YouTube, just standard playing through. So if you guys have any ideas of things that I could try out while playing these games, let me know in the comments because I think it'd be a lot of fun to do different challenges for these games. I could probably look into it a little bit and maybe go back and play some of the old versions of these games and see, oh, well, maybe I could play through Mario Sunshine without ever using this nozzle or something like that. But yeah, these games are really exciting. This is really everything people have wanted this whole year, and I'm glad they finally announced it. And the big surprise to me 
was that it's coming so soon. It's coming September 18th. That's only, it's only 15 days away. So I'm really excited for this. I think I'm probably gonna pick up a digital copy and a physical copy. And I don't know if I'll ever even open the physical copy. The physical copy of the game is kind of like a backup because this game also is a limited time. I believe it is only, I don't remember when they said that this would be cut off, but I think it's sometime in March, like Mario Super Mario 35. Since this game is a limited time, I'm getting both the digital and the physical just in case. If you have the digital and you like buy a new Switch or something and you want to re-download the game, I, I'm worried that it might not be available after the cutoff date or whatever, so you wouldn't be able to buy it again. That's where the physical copy would come in. And if it is still downloadable, then hey, I've got this physical copy of a game that was only in production for five, six months. And who knows, maybe 20, 30 years down the road, this game could be, you know, a good collector's item. That's why I'm gonna pick this up, both digital and physical. So that's basically where the Nintendo Direct ended. They do like a little recap of Mario throughout all the years. I didn't really watch this and I don't want to right now. It's like a four minute section that I don't really care too much about. But overall, yeah, this looks like really good. I'm really excited for this. I can't wait to play through Mario 64 Sunshine and Galaxy with good graphics on a system that I don't need to pull out from my closet and plug into the TV, get out all these old cords. It's literally just going to be on my Switch with Smash Bros, with Breath of the Wild, with any other game that I play. I won't have to switch it up. I'm excited. This is going to be great. And I'm really, really looking forward to this coming out. And it's so soon. It, it, like, I was honestly expecting this to be like a October, November release for the holidays. But September 18th is just really good news. And September 18th actually happens to be the last day of a video that I will have coming up. It'll be a month in the works on September, so there's a little sneak peek. So sometime late September, look forward to a big video that I'm going to be putting together. Really excited about it. It's going to be, I think it'll be my first video that shows my face. Um, the only reason behind that is just because I'm too lazy to figure out how to set up my camera to work while recording, and I don't want to use the built-in camera on my computer. So yeah, watch out for a big video late September. That's exciting. I'm really excited for that video and I, I hope you guys like it because I'm putting a lot of work into it. Not even just like physically making the video, but like the stuff I have to do for the video. It's a lot. So keep an eye out for that. I'm excited for that. Excited for this new collection. There's a lot of good. There's a lot of good coming. But that's all I have for this. I'm sure I, I'm sorry I rambled on for the last like two minutes or whatever, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys haven't watched the full direct yourself for some reason, go watch it. It's really good. But anyways, I hope you all are having a great day, and I'll see you next time.